Hello ladies and gentlemen, as guardians and mutants alike, welcome to another We Are Maiden gameplay video. Back with more Marvel Strike Force today, where we are going to be opening some bright persona orbs in the hopes of getting enough shards to unlock Electro. Now before we begin, I feel I have to address the fact that there has been some controversy surrounding uh, the bright persona orbs. Um, basically, there was a discrepancy as where they were appearing at one price in the um, the iOS store if you're on an Apple device and on another price in the Google Play Store. $24.99 as you can see here if you're on Apple and $29.99 if you were on Android. Now as far as I'm aware, uh, Scopely have uh, addressed the problem um, and that has been has been sorted now. I think people who ended up overpaying are getting additional um, orb shards. So basically if you overpaid that five dollars you're getting an extra five dollars worth of shards. Extra orbs and hopefully um, ultimately extra five dollars extra um, electro shards. So Hopefully that's enough to appease people um, and people don't feel too uh, cheated or, or mistreated. Because we just want everyone to be enjoying the game at the end of the day. Anyway, let's take a look at these Bright Persona Orbs. So $24.99, um, you're getting eight Bright Persona Orbs. And each orb has the chance to earn you up to 180 Electro Shards. Electrify battles with big damage, a charged attack or passive ability, and bonus attacks. Francine Fry sounds like my kind of girl. I'm really enjoying the Sinister Six at the moment. If you um, aren't really into the Sinister Six or you haven't started farming them yet, check out my video on the Sinister Six, why I think they're a great first villains team to farm. Link in the top right hand corner. So uh, let's take a look at these Bright Persona orbs and what you actually get for your money. So uh, the left pillar can be any reward, the right pillar can be any reward, but it's this central pillar that gives you, that's guaranteed to give you electro shot between six and 180 electro shot. Minimum of six, maximum of 180. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that six times eight is 48. So let's go and uh, double check now actually. Let's go to, now let's sort by Sinister Six and call up um, Ms. Fry. Yeah, so she unlocks at 45. 45 shards is the minimum required to unlock Electro. So that means you're getting eight orbs, minimum of six. Even if you only pull minimum pulls every time, you're gonna unlock Electro. So 25 bucks guaranteed unlock of Electro, but you could end up getting 180 each time and then uh, completely max her out, have a seven star. I don't think that's gonna happen, but fingers crossed. Let's open these bad boys and see what we get. Okay, boom, we are all set. So there we go. 16,000 uh, shards, fragments, whatever you call them, uh, which should be eight bright persona orbs. There they are, beautiful. Okay, well that that exa is exactly what I want. 180 uh, shards and then 145 in gold. 40, 60, I'll take that too, and 72 in gold. That would be great. That would be great, 80 shots. Let's see. Boom, six. Six and some really rubbish gear. Okay, minimum pull. Okay, Lady Luck, let's try again. Boom, eight. Okay, things are improving. Things are improving. Hopefully this, this luck stays and we keep growing. Let's go, boom, pull number three. Six, back to the minimum. Okay, okay. Not great. This is pull number four, halfway through. Um, let, let's do this. Boom, six again, okay. Halfway through and we've had three minimum pulls of six and one of eight, it's been our highest pull so far. Okay, pull number five. Six, great. Okay, maybe that's what we're going for, the minimum unlock. Let's go. Six. Wow. Okay. Luck is really not with us today. Let's try again. Boom. 80. Okay. That's nice. That is nice. That, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Our seventh pull was 80. Not bad. And then final pull. Boom. Okay. 10. 10. 
So there we go, by my count, that's 128 electro shards. Not bad, not great, but not, not bad. Yes, I want to recruit her, let's do it. Let's open up Francine Fry to recruit electro to the squad. Boom, and I got red stars for her. I happened to pull red stars for her earlier today, I think, just in a random uh, red star orb drop. There we go, so 195, because I've got those two red stars, um, and I've got stars, I can I can rank her up, because of all those stars that I got. Three star, there we go. 227 base power, two red, uh, no thank you, not just now. And then the regular star, and I've still got 28 out of 80. So I've got a way to go before we get that fourth star. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to level her up just a little bit. Uh, let's take her up to 40. I think that's a good kind of minimum level. Let's apply that and uh, throw some gear on her as well. Upgrade some abilities. And then maybe we will have a little quick play. Um, and this, this first gear level upgrade to gear 2 just hardly does anything gave us 10, 10 extra points. Um, well, let's keep going. I'm gonna take her up to, um, I think, gear five. The reason I wanna take her up to gear five is because I know that's the level you need to get to to unlock her portrait. And let's be honest, I'm, I'm all about getting the, the little swag here. I just wanna have that portrait picture um, so I can show off to my Alliance members. Boom, here we go. Level five, beautiful. Okay, I could go further. I think I'm gonna leave it for now. Let's upgrade some of these basic abilities here. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, so that's cap. You need to be at 45 in order to open that up. In fact, we're gonna hit a cap on, on all of these pretty quickly here, but this is some, getting some additional abilities here, which is, which is nice. Boom, there we go. And then the passive. Nice. Okay, there she is in all her glory. Okay, so uh, attack primary target for 160% damage. That's her basic attack on level 4. Livewire, attack primary target for 180% damage plus bonus attack for 80% damage per positive effect on the target. Nice. Chain Lightning, attack primary target for 200% piercing plus apply defense down. Attack all other enemies for 130% piercing and apply a fence down. In war, you're clearing a positive effect. And then the passive, on turn, gain one charge up to a maximum of five. At the end of any turn, if she reaches five or more charge, then she attacks the most injured enemy and loses those five. Okay, Francine Fry looking pretty cool. There she is. Pretty awesome. I'm really excited, actually, to have her on the squad. Um, I know she's not very powerful. She's not going to be really much of a match for the rest of my Sinister Six squad, but let's have a go in Blitz. So first of all, let's just try with my my basic lineup, my current lineup. So it's about 177,000 is the squad strength. So still at the low end. I know there's people out there with, with much more powerful squads, but that is my most powerful squad at the moment. Um, my OG Sinister Six squad. So let's see what they're capable of. I think I'm going to pump bump the speed up to, to times two and let's just let's just clear the floor in this, this blitz black battle so we can see what we're playing with without passing. Ouch, some damage from Captain Marvel there. Let's get some offense up. Deadpool, so annoying going against Deadpool. For the ends to that healing. Thank you, Mysterio. That hardly did anything. Reassuringly ineffective. Boom, bye bye, Deadpool. Um, yeah, let's take out the two defenders. I think we get that taunt going. And then drop some AoE there. Boom. Ouch. You know what? So, so Shocker's definitely taking damage here. Okay, I'm going to take out Punisher with the attacks. Boom, bye bye. Then that's it. Bye bye, Captain Marvel. Thanks for playing. Okay, so there you go. That's the regular uh, Sinister Six team that I play with. Uh, that's how they, they are performing right now at the level I'm at in Blitz. As you can see, I've not really blitzed today. I've not really gotten pretty uh, very far still in Tier 2. So, what I'm going to do right now is take someone out. I think I'm going to take out Shocker. He's the one that took the most damage, and also he's kind of electrically inclined. So let's replace him with Francine 
fry. Boom, so that's taken our power down to 147, so we lost about 30,000 um, power there, which is right, that's where he's, where Shocker's at. But the team we're going against is only 111,000, so I think we're still going to wipe the floor. It's hopefully just going to be a good matchup so we can have a go, uh, give Francine Fry a little test. Take Electro out for a spin. All right. Here we go. So I'm actually going to take the speed back down, I think, um, so that we can, can really enjoy this. So we're going to start out with Vulture. Of course, he is the fastest amongst the Sinister Six. So there we go. But here we go. Francine Fry. You know what? I think let's do it. Let's drop this AoE. She gains 100,000 extra focus for this attack. So it can't be countered. Let's do it. I want to see what it looks like. Hit them. That was cool. I liked that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mysterio. Bye, bye, Electra. Ooh. So luckily that was blocked through that buff we've got there on the team. Otherwise, that would have taken Electro out because she's she's not really strong enough to. Uh, resist this right now as she sits but that was great we got rid of that that taunt charge got rid of uh jessica jones anyway so let's drop an aoe hopefully get rid of miss marvel no not quite and a dog here from spider-man that's a little annoying uh let's get rid of spider-man actually there's always something really satisfying about taking out spider-man with green goblins but like taking out darth maul with qui-gon and galaxy of heroes yeah and then a taunt from the big guy. Uh, so he doesn't have any positive effects right now because uh, Green Goblin removed them, but let's do this anyway. Boom! Okay, so Rhino kind of in the way there, but that still looked pretty cool. I'm really enjoying just having a new Sinister Six character on the squad. I never actually opened up Swarm. Um, wasn't really familiar with Swarm, but Electro, one of my favorites. This is a lot of fun. And boom, that was kind of suicide there. Suicide by Rhino. See if we can blind Hulk. There we go. Don't want him taking out Francine Fry. So I think she's going to survive this battle. Ooh, and then she got one of the assists as well for her basic. That was cool. Okay, so that would have killed her if we hadn't have blinded him. So I'm so pleased we did that. Now let's do this charge here and see if we can take him out. There we go. That should do it. Boom. There we go, so everyone survived. Francine Fry survived that. That was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. I'm really pleased I have her on the squad. I'm probably not gonna focus on, on powering her up too much just because there's no ability to farm her right now. I'm not about to drop a ton of money um, trying to get her start up, um, but uh, she's really fun to have. And eventually, uh, I do want to, to put her on the squad. There she is, right there. I think she looks awesome. I'm really digging this kind of classic uh, costume there with the, the lightning bolt across the face. That was really awesome. I think she looks amazing um, and I think she's a really fun character. Even at this level you can see that she's doing damage and she's got that cool synergy with the rest of the team. We're able to survive there um, by using a lot of their buffs and debuffs on the enemy. So there you have it. That is Francine Fry, Electro, and we got her by opening up those orbs. As I said, I don't, I'm sure there are people out there, there must be videos of people uh, opening her up and then immediately powering her up, getting her to seven stars, getting her, uh, you know, to the top uh, tier gear levels. Um, I'm not going to do that, I don't have the resources to do that, um, but if you think that would be entertaining and if you enjoyed this video, then please do give it a like, a thumbs up, that really helps with the YouTube algorithms and the more people that watch this video the more chance I have of one day getting to monetize something and then maybe I will have money a little bit of slush fun to spend on this kind of thing any money that I make off this I will just pour right back into the game making content for you all but right now I don't have the money to do that 25 bucks was my limit but this was a lot of fun but what did you think um, what do you think of Electro what do you think of um, her abilities what do you think of the orbs um, have you opened her up already are you excited to have her join the Sinister Six? Are you going to get her? Are you not going to get her? Let me know your thoughts, comments, and criticisms down below. As always, thank you so much for coming along on this journey with me. Um, I really appreciate you being here. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And why not subscribe to the channel? I drop new uh, Marvel Strike Force and Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes gameplay videos 
every week. Uh, thank you so much for being a part of this journey with me today. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, in the meantime, look after each other. Bye for now.